السلام علیکم گڈ ایوننگ مائی گریٹنگس ٹو آل آف یو فرام اسلام آباد دا بیوٹیفل شاہ جی یو سیٹ دیٹ جوائننگ نیو شاہ جی فار ویمن از اے چیلنج سو آئی ایڈ اپرچونیٹی ٹو دس چیلنجز سوری سر اٹ از گریٹ ٹو نو انیلا It is great to know that today there are 16 qualified female neurosurgeons and 46 residents across the country. I am really feeling proud. I was alone, 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 I am feeling proud today. And I always try to encourage the girls to join neurosurgery, to attract towards neurosurgery. Whenever they ask questions, I am very positive. My response is always positive. and i always try to encourage them so this is the road traveled by me when i look back yeah it was uneven it had pebbles it had dust but no regrets because it was a road of my own choice it was beautiful and i'm going to share few of my, my memories when i started my residency in 91 this is me and during this journey i met so many great people beautiful people this is my picture with professor takakura and this is huma sethi and when i was attending course in alhambra lahore this is professor majid sami i am receiving shield from professor majid sami and my very sweet memories when i was in japan my great friend yoko kato this she is here and this is indra from india this is me and other colleagues from japan this is professor beklon again in alhambra when i was attending an international course my friends in hong kong and when i was the vice president of the asian congress of neurological surgeons in uh, hong kong and this is huma sethi with me now presently she is working in uh, uk and this is professor rosbaksh and uh, other other um, residents this is in asian australian uh, conference with professor majid sami and you can see this is khaliq this is looking so young hmm? and uh, this is me <laughs> and uh, professor iftikhar ali raja and this is me and uh, with professor bashir bhatti kitne bashir ahmed bhatti bashir ahmed bhatti kitne haseen log the kitne haseen log the jo milke ek bar aankhon mein jazb ho gaye dil mein sama gaye and this is again me soon after i qualified so this is in japan while i was attending the neurosurgery update course so what are the challenges what is the biggest challenge any profession you join the biggest challenge you have to face is to discover yourself this is the biggest challenge you need to discover yourself apne man mein doob kar pa ja surag e zindagi hazrat ali said the one who recognized himself he recognized his lord jisne apne aap ko pehchana usne apne rab ko pehchana but then when you recognize yourself you need to discover your talent they say there are 34 talents in a human being and everybody has two or three and if not at least one so once you discover your talent what you can do you can define yourself what is my definition why was i born where do i stand what i am supposed to do and this is the first step to start your journey and the most important is that not only you discover your talent you learn to avail your talent and when you avail your talent um, sorry i am getting disturbed sorry you are talking sorry so you have to you learn to avail your talent in the best of your capacity in the best of your capacity so what are the opportunities and where they are going to lead me the most frequent question they are asked by the young girls the, the the juniors that madam what the opportunities in your surgery for the lady i always say as far as the gender is concerned no there is no discrimination there is no difference and the most frequent question asked by me is what is your plan you know an international study it revealed the two most important decision 
in one's life is marriage and profession. Because most of the time you spend is either with your profession or spouse. So both of them, if you are happy with either of them, then you have it. So both the plans should be fantastic. In the induction interview, I always ask that, what is your plan? Are you planning to get married? If so, did you discuss it with your partner to be, does he agree? Or then if he agrees, then you can go ahead. Then what about starting your family? If you plan, then you better not opt for neurosurgery because you won't be able to do justice with both of them. My residents, uh, we trained four residents and we are really proud of them. They were excellent. And uh, I asked for a picture from Benazir, she's here and she couldn't send it. And this is Benazir and Mavish, um, it's little Mavish. This is, she got married after she completed her um, neurosurgery and she qualified. And this is gorgeous Famida. And uh, Shima, she started her family when she completed her residency. And Famida and Benazir, they are still enjoying their life in neurosurgery. Best of luck. So when, whenever any lady asks me about um, advice regarding joining neurosurgery, I ask, is it your passion or you simply want to go for the profession? Because Mirza Ghalib said that the one who has the same passion and the profession is the luckiest one. Zriya Mash or Shok Ekho, because Kam Insan ko thaka deta hai or Mohabbat Insan ko nahi thakati. So always love your work. And then I say that not only it should be a desire, it should be a burning desire, like Tariq bin Zayad. If you can burn your boats, and don't look back, then yes, definitely, it's going to be a path of success. Then professional character. Yes, it's equally important for both the genders, but for lady in male-oriented and competitive profession, this is far more important. Be ethical, be positive, and don't let anybody raise finger on you regarding your professional character. Learn to let go. Let go the things that can affect your professional capabilities and your working environment. Commitment, life is a commitment. It's with your family, with your profession, with your country. And so in, in our culture, it is more expected from ladies. So never ever get overwhelmed by your commitments. Rather learn to enjoy your commitment and then you will enjoy your profession and then you will enjoy your life as well. King Martin Luther. He said, I have a dream. And then the whole world could see that. Bill Gates, while he was in university, he remained restless. And then he left in the mid by telling his classmates, I am leaving to follow my dreams. So because the dreams, the dreams define your aims and then your aims, they take you to your goals. And then your, these are your goals that help you to achieve the targets. So the many girls, they asked me, ma'am, what's the scope in neurosurgery? Scope, scope is not in the field. Scope is inside you. It depends. It depends upon your decision-making power, upon your personal management skills, your professional management skills, and your patience and your tolerance. So you try to develop these skills inside you. What are the skills? The skills, they don't come like that. You have to invest best of yourselves to achieve these skills. And then the skills, they automatically convert it to money. It's a rule and the law in every profession. And then the bank balance, is it important? Yes, it is important. But what is more important? More important is your patient bank. People bank, you are rich when you have a huge patient bank. And that can be only achieved when you give preference to your patient over money. But remember that even with best of your skills, you need to know your limitations. That is going to make you the best surgeon. Try not to follow the trends. Learn to work with your own limitations. Shikwai zulmat shabse to kahi better tha. Apne hisse ki koi shama jalate jate. Handicapped? No, never. Don't feel handicapped. Just because you are a lady, you are capable of doing it and you can't do it because of the cultural restraints or this uh, society because of the society pressure no you be determined and then progress insecurity 
mm-hmm. never feel insecure just because you are a lady no your professional capability is your biggest strength that is your biggest security find your strength and be the strongest in your profession the first thing to uninstall from your app is this word whenever you join a challenge and then never be afraid khauf insaan ka sabse bada dushman hai isko kabhi raste mein na aane do and when you accept a challenge be positive think positive and then stay positive do not obstruct anyone and then you will get facilitated automatically make your time effective i always tell my residents don't waste time find the topic write the synopsis write the dissertation because ghaflat zawal hai duniya ka sabse bada jurm hai the biggest crime is to waste the time make the time effective and leave the impression in your profession forever give respect get respect le saans bhi aista ke nazak hai bahut kaam afaq ki is kar gaye shisha gari ka for a lady it's very important to look after her dignity and decency your learning attitude is very important rather you are a better learner in my experience because the girls the girls are more responsible and they are better learner teach learn to teach and teach to learn this is my saying because i have learned a lot from my students so never stop teaching readers are leaders always read that lead to your intellectual growth and then motivation nigab land sukhan dil nawaz janpur sos yahi hai rakht e safar mere karwan ke liye your your profession is not a one time phenomena it's a dynamic thing it's every minute is a challenge your motivation your persistence it leads to the intensity where you can leave an everlasting impression in your profession self confidence the most important word in my dictionary that when you achieve this self confidence when you unlock your unlimited potentials then believe me you can get anywhere you want and then you can tell the whole world yes i can do it and not only you can do it show them that you do it and then remember that if you are not willing to take the unusual then one day you have to settle down on the ordinary things so with this i thank you all for your attention 